Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I decided to do something different from uh, like flipping videos and stuff. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add the uh, Twitch and Sizzlens effect in After Effects. So uh, yeah, you need to buy the uh, effect from uh, Video Copilot. Link is in the description below. So let's jump right into it. First off, open up After Effects and uh, then you need to import your clips or media. So you go to File, Import, File. Simple as that. And then you need to find your clips. From here, you just drag your uh, clip into the timeline. But now we need to trim or like cut the clip because this clip is like one and a half and like minute long. So you can cut where I jump off, like here. Sorry if the audio is bad because uh, I'm using my iPhone earplug, so yeah. Then, what you want to do is to go to a layer, new, adjustment layer. On the effect and presets, you just search for Twitch. On the video copilot, drag Twitch into uh, the uh, adjustment layer. Here comes the important uh, part of this tutorial. This is just a personal setting, so uh, this is what I recommend using for the Twitch effect. So what you want to do is like drag amount down to zero, speed to around 20. You want to enable blur, scale and slide. This is just my personal opinion, so uh, do not blame me. Okay, higher the scale amount to um, 75 and lower this, that looks good. Then you go to slide, or higher the slide amount to around 100, I like to have it on 110. Here comes the, the coolest part, it's the uh, slide RGB split. And that you want to higher to around 20 as well. That's about it, then click on the adjustment layer. Go to effect, twitch, then you want to find the, uh, the exact frame where you want to keyframe the twitch effect, around there I think, and click on this little stopwatch, there you can see a keyframe, then you skip one frame, then you hire the amount to around 20 and here you can see the twitch effect enables. And then if you scroll through a little bit, like here, then you add another keyframe, drag that one down to zero again. If you want like more twitch, you just higher the uh, value to around maybe 45, let's see. That's about it. The Zizi lens is much easier, actually, you just select your uh, bottom clip, or uh, the actual clip. Then you go to the uh, effects and presets, search for CC lens. Then you drag the CC lens onto your uh, clip, size to maximum size. Then what you want to do is scroll a few frames back from the uh, Twitch effect, like 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 10 even, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then, click this uh, little stopwatch again, then scroll 10 frames forward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You drag this down to around uh, 150, I think that looks good. Here you can see the effect. Then, to fade out, or how you want to call it, you just add one more keyframe, leave it at 150, then scroll like 5 frames forward, drag that back to 500, look. That looks very cool. And this works on uh, PC as well, so uh, you don't need to worry if you don't have a uh, Mac like I do. So see you guys in the next video, bye. 